At UCSF, precision medicine is a dynamic process that continually improves our understanding of health and disease. Powered by the latest computational technology, precision medicine integrates vast amounts of data to advance our knowledge of the biological mechanisms that lead to illness or protect health. As this knowledge network grows, it delivers insights that lead to better prevention, enhanced diagnosis, and more effective treatments. Importantly, all of these are personalized for each patient. It all begins with people. Researchers and clinicians, patients and the community, everyone can contribute to the process by adding knowledge and data, and everyone can benefit. Basic and molecular science, population science, and clinical discovery are the three broad classes of scientific research in precision medicine. Researchers of any type use a range of high-tech tools. These include imaging, computational and digital health technologies, and omics, such as genomics. The information generated by their work then flows into the information commons, a shared repository of data, tools, and models. The information commons is the fuel for the knowledge network where different types of data are structured into layers, similar to a Google map. These layers make it possible to discover connections and patterns revealing the factors that impact health or disease. Ethics and engagement is integral to all elements. For precision medicine to succeed, we need to make sure no one is left out or disadvantaged and everyone's privacy is respected. The process begins and ends with people. Researchers and clinicians make new discoveries. Patients receive more precise diagnosis and treatments. And the community's health improves overall. To illustrate the process, let's look at an example. We're going to follow the journey of an imaginary person from our community who gets tested for the virus that causes COVID-19. How can they benefit from and contribute to precision medicine? The process starts when this person gets tested. UCSF has worked with community organizers to engage high-risk populations to get free testing in locations convenient for them. Once the sample is taken, it's sent to a laboratory for molecular testing. The test that is used was enabled by basic genetics research and uses powerful technologies that can detect minute amounts of genetic material. In this example, the test turns out to be positive. A social worker then calls the infected person to make a clinical appointment and provides supporting resources. A contact tracer also calls the person to establish where they might have gotten infected and who else might be at risk. The process of contact tracing is made easier because the person used an app on their smartphone which tracked their movements and contact with others. This data is used by population scientists to help monitor the spread of infection and keep health officials in the community informed so they can act appropriately. Because the person is showing symptoms of illness, they are examined in a clinic and chest x-rays are taken. The healthcare provider checks if they are eligible for a clinical trial to test a new treatment. This treatment was inspired by new discoveries about viral infection and transmission made by basic scientists, which were then used by clinical researchers to test whether infection in humans can be blocked. The healthcare provider discusses the clinical trial with the patient to make sure they understand the potential benefits and risks. Data from the person's DNA sample, their digital health tool, the imaging database containing their chest x-rays and their electronic health records are added to the knowledge network via the information commons. Patient health data are shared only with trusted healthcare partners in a secure and respectful way. Once the research that emerges from the clinical trial shows promise, the results are then published in the medical literature so scientists, clinicians, and patient communities across the world can learn from it. This is just one example to show the dynamic, ongoing process that is precision medicine. By integrating vast amounts of data into our growing knowledge network, we gain new insights, which lead to better prevention, enhanced diagnosis, and more effective treatments, both for individual patients and entire communities. Everyone can contribute, and everyone stands to benefit.